Commander 788 here, and it's been a while since we've done one of these quick shots. So let's take a look at the 1984 self-propelled cannon, the Slugger, and the action figure that came with it, Thunder. Now, the Slugger is a nice little vehicle uh, with some nice features. It has, of course, a huge cannon that can elevate. It does not rotate. Uh, it has a hatch that can swing open and closed. Uh, it has a machine gun up here on top. It has an engine cover that is hinged, which is really nice, so you don't lose it. Then it has this scoop in the back here, which can be extended, uh, and that is used to brace against the awesome power of the cannon. And then you can push that back in for when you're driving it around. Uh, it's a nice little vehicle, nice design, nice pseudo-realistic military vehicle. Uh, looks really good, and the action figure that comes with it looks pretty good, too. Thunder uh, has some pretty amazing accessories. This helmet assembly is actually three separate parts. Then, of course, he comes with this range finder that fits around his neck. Now, I always liked the look of this figure. Nice colors. I, I, I think this is a really nice looking action figure. And there's something kind of special about the Slugger. It has something that most vehicles of the era did not have. It has paint. It has a painted on camouflage pattern. And that's very rare. Most vehicles did not come with that. Uh, there is a later version of the Slugger that uh, does not have the paint camouflage. There's a later mail away version. Uh, that version is considered pretty rare. Uh, this is the more common version, the retail version, uh, and this is really nice. I think this looks really good. But for some reason, this vehicle was sort of forgotten in G.I. Joe media. It did show up in the cartoon from time to time, uh, but it was barely used in the G.I. Joe comic book, and I'm not sure why, because this is a very nice looking vehicle. But that's just a quick look at it for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, um, and keep an eye on this channel for more full vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews. Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you next time.